The Cherry Orchard is Chekhov's last play and, um, in my opinion, his greatest play. It's uh, like a piece of music, really. It's like a symphony and each act is like a different movement in the, in the symphony. All the characters are really like different instruments in the orchestra, so they're all playing the same tune, but they're um, playing it slightly differently, you know? Um, Chekhov makes no moral judgments about any of the characters. They're, all glorious, beautiful people and deeply stupid at the same time. Chekhov always insisted that his play was a comedy, a comedy at times, even a farce, he said, and I believe that that's what it is. I've directed The Cherry Orchard several times before and I've seen many, many productions of it around the world and um, it's important for me that the, the um, classics uh, speak to us today, that, the, that through the classics we can say something about um, our, our lives t today or the, the culture that we live in and things like that. So uh, when I was thinking about the cherry orchard, I was thinking, oh, it's because it's happening at a time of change. And I think, what does this mean for us living in New Zealand in the 21st century? And I, so I was thinking about um, the whole Māori Renaissance thing that happened in the 70s with the Land March and Bastion Point and uh, and uh, the telephonist who, was, um, who lost her job because she said kia ora when she um, welcomed someone, which seems ludicrous to us now, but that's what happened. It was a, a, hu a huge social change that was happening in New Zealand at that time. And uh, so I thought, oh, well, what would happen if we said it then? And I started exploring it with Philippa Campbell, my literary manager, and um, uh, Albert Belts and uh, Tainui Tukuwaho were both writers and, um, and we just threw it around and explored the possibilities of that and it seemed to fit really well in that um, time frame so um, then we explored it further and it's kind of, it's sort of, it's, it's interesting for us because it's not completely contemporary now but it's just uh, in recent history so that we can um, reflect on it, yeah. I, I, I think that the cherry orchard is so rarely performed in New Zealand today that it's a wonderful opportunity for people to see it staged, to see fabulous actors, you know, like the top-notch actors take on these great roles and to see it interpreted in a way that speaks to us as New Zealanders.